Well, welcome, welcome to another lesson of the Focus on Contentful course. I'm Marcelo Lewin, the Headless Creator. As always, get a hold of me, Marcelo, at headlesscreator.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to use AI to auto tag images inside of Contentful. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. So, here we are in Contentful. We're in just a, an empty space. And what you're going to want to do now, you probably have a bunch of content types and stuff, and I'll show you all that in just a minute. But you're going to want to go to the App Store, the Marketplace, right here. And then once you click on the Marketplace, you want to scroll down until you find the AI Image Tagging app. And you want to install that. That's the key here. This is created by Contentful. You can see right here, it's developed by Contentful. The only thing you'll need to do is click on Install right there. And then just authorize it for the environment that you want that to be in. If you have multiple environments, you're going to have to install it in all environments, as you can see right here. So I'm just going to install it in this blog content model lesson environment. So I'm going to go ahead and say authorize accent or access. And while it's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and take a quick sip of water. And what it's going to tell you is that you can create, well, it's going to force you to create a sample content type that'll show you how to set up the, uh, a, uh, the AI tags fields, because you need to set that up. So you can call it whatever you want. So I'm going to call it for, I'm going to create one that's going to be a wrapper around my media. So I'm going to call it media asset. Let's just call it that. We'll call it media asset. We'll click on install. Now it's installing the app and creating that content type. So that's it. The rest of it you can read on your own. It's just basically telling you how to get started, but I'm about to show you that. And if you want to uninstall it, it also tells you that, but I will show you all of that. So that's it. We're done. You don't have to click on save or anything. We're completely done. So I can click on back. If I go now to installed apps, you may not see it. It's a caching issue. If you hit shift refresh, you should see it up there now. So let's make sure. And there it is, AI image tagging. Now, if we go to the content model right here, you should see the new content type that I created. So let's go ahead and click on the content type and let's see what it did. It created a title, just a short field title, but the key here, and this is important because you can, if you want to add uh, tagging in other content types you have, you're gonna have to do the same thing. You're gonna have to have an, a media type field uh, call it image, and then you're going to have to have a short text field of type list that you call it the same as the media type with tags like that. That's key. So let's go ahead and use this, then we'll create a content type of our own. But let's go ahead and add an entry of media type. Now I already uploaded some media right here. So we're going to go to content. Here's the untitled that we just created, basically. So we're going to say, uh, cute dog because i know i have a picture of a dog we'll say add existing which is this is the media type field right and then we'll add this cute dog okay and now here where it says image tags you can type in your own tags so for example like i say dog white like that i could that's a manual tagging now here's the button that says auto tag from ai so this is going to go towards ai it's using its own, its own language model to, to go against and, and figure out, um, analyze the image. And then it's going to come back and give us a whole bunch of tags. Now, look at this override existing uh, tags. If you click this on, these two will be gone. If you deselect these, whatever you entered here will remain. So it'll, it'll stay there. So I'm going to go ahead and say override just to show you. Then we'll do it without the override. So I'm going to go ahead and click on auto tag from AI. And there you go. It came back as animal, canine, dog, mammal, pet, grass, because there's grass here, plants, there's some plants, road, puppy, terrier. I think it did a pretty good job. Now, for example, let's say um, you don't want mammal. You can just click on the X to remove it. Now, if you run auto tag again and use overwrite, it's going to bring it back. See, it brings it back as you're overriding. So for example, if I say that now, if I click on this again, well, in this case, it'll bring it back, but let's go ahead and add. So we'll add, for example, uh, gray road, let's just do that. And then we'll say blue sky. And you can see blue sky, gray road. Now let's go ahead and do auto tag from AI, but let's make sure we don't override existing tags. We'll click on that. 
Now, you think, wait, it went away. It didn't go away. It's right here. Blue sky, gray road. It just put it in alphabetical order of what it found of, of, of its own tax. Then, it, then it's our tax. So that's it. That's how it works in that um, media asset wrapper that I created. Let's go now and create our own type. We're going to create a, a blog type. We're going to just call it blog. And let's add a field. So we'll just say title. Confirm. Let's add a rich text, call it body. Just simple. We'll keep it simple. Confirm. And now let's go ahead and add a media. Where are you, media? There you are. And then we'll call it image. And then we're going to add a text. And this is where you're going to have to call it image tags. Let's make sure it's list. Okay. Let's configure it. We're going to go to validation, require field, and then under appearance, you got to make sure you select the AI image tag uh, app. Click on confirm. We'll click on save. Now let's go back to content. Let's add an entry, but this time of blog. And we'll go our first blog. Of course, it doesn't matter, right? This is here is our first blog. And now you see right there image and the tag so if we click on add existing let's add now i'm going to show you this this is the apple vision pro right so i'm going to go ahead and auto tag from ai and what i want to show you is that whatever it uses in the back end it doesn't really recognize it here as the vision so it must be a data set that is not fully updated because this the vision pro just got released what i think uh this week it was so uh, keep that in mind that it may not be the latest updated. And I don't know from Contentful, to be honest with you, if Contentful, if you're watching, if the data set is continuously updated, that that's great. Put it in the in the chat. Uh, but I don't know if it's continually updated. But um, we can now add our own tags and make sure that. So we'll say Apple Vision Pro, right? We can do that. Now, can remember, if you want to re-tag it automatically and you want to keep those tags, make sure you deselect overwrite existing tags by clicking on that, right? Okay, so now we have it. And it's that easy. Now you have AI inside and Contentful helping you uh, do tagging on your apps. And what I recommend is you have a media asset wrapper around your media, right? Because we cannot extend the media in inside of Contentful, the actual, the, the, the native media entry inside of Contentful, we can't extend it there. So my recommendation is build a wrapper and then within that wrapper, right, if we go back to content model within the wrapper, you can have your image tags and then use that inside. So, for example, what we would really do in in the uh, let's go back to blog. What we would really do in the blog here is let's go ahead and delete this. And delete that. Now delete, delete. If I wanted to add an image here, I wouldn't do what I just showed you. I just wanted to show you so that way you know how to add it to your own content app if you have your own media wrapper. But what I would do here is I would add a reference field. We'll call it image. And we'll say one reference. We'll just make it a one-to-one. -one, and we'll do validation except only media asset. We'll do that. Save. So now when we go to content and we have our cute dog entry, here, oh no, that's sorry, that is our media asset. Let's go to any, let's go to our first blog. So now we would add existing content and it would be the cute dog. So that's what it would be. Now within here, you would have all your tags, right? So that's the best, that's the best practice that I recommend you do. So um, it's as simple as that, that's, that's all there is to it. Now I do want to show you um, uninstalling. So there's a couple of things you can do. If you want to fully uninstall, including the field, you're going to have to go to your content type, like media asset and remove these two. But if you want to keep them, let's say, no, 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 I just use AI, I don't want to use it anymore, but I want to keep all the tags. The only thing you need to do is go to apps, marketplace, go to install apps, under the three dots, you can click on configure or uninstall. There's nothing to configure, to be honest with you anymore. But you can click on uninstall. Now you can tell it why you're uninstalling, but you don't have to. I'm going to go ahead and click on uninstall. Now when you go back to content and we go to our first blog, you're still going to have, uh, oh, 
Oh, no, no, this is, sorry, not the blog. <laughs> I got confused there. When we go to the media asset, right, where we have it, you're still going to have your tags. It does not uninstall that, which is a good thing, right? But um, in this case, it's still showing the auto tag button. Let's hit shift to refresh to make sure. Yeah, it's gone. See, it's a caching issue. Just keep that in mind. But that tagging button is gone because the app doesn't exist anymore. But it kept all of the tags, which is a good thing. You do want that. Um, all right, that's it. I think I covered pretty much everything. It's a really cool app. Stay tuned for another episode coming up soon where I'm going to show you another AI um, app that was created by Contentful and how to generate content. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, like always, if you want to get a hold of me, uh, feel free to do so. Marcelo at headlesscreator.com and go get your free account at headlesscreator.com. So we will see you on the next episode. Cheers.